What is up everyone? It's James aka the Comic Raider back with another uh we're gonna call this one the haul video. Um this is actually the birthday haul. Uh by the time I post this it'll probably be my birthday. Uh so long story short, went up to uh Sacramento, California, over to A1 Comics, which is kind of like a I guess we can call it a chain if you will. Uh they got three locations up there. Uh Sacramento, wanna say technically it's Rockland, and then Folsom. Uh, so I stopped by the uh, Sacramento and Rockland ones. Haven't been up there in a little while. Every time I do, I know it's going to be a an expensive trip, but uh, made it worth it. Uh, didn't really have a plan. I mean, I've got like a, a wish list, if you will, written down on my phone of books I want and all that kind of stuff. And so just kind of went through there, um, which I'd recommend um, if you guys don't. I don't know how you guys hunt, but, uh, you know, sometimes if you just know that you need something, write it down write it down on your phone or a notepad or whatever that way when you go if you're like me once you actually then walk into a shop you're like shit i have no idea what i even came here to buy and then i thought oh i made that wish list so i went through the wish list and sure enough found a bunch of stuff on it that i wouldn't have looked for because i wouldn't have remembered but uh anyway so just a little tip there but uh found a bunch of spawn action figures um if you don't follow my page, I'm a Spawn fan, but uh, I don't have too many of the action figures. And uh, it's just been something that I've been really wanting to build that part of my collection. So I don't know if they bought someone's old collection or what, but I found a bunch of stuff. Um, one in particular, two that I had never seen before. One in particular that I was like, I don't care. I have to have it because I've never seen it. Probably will never see it again. Uh, and then I also picked up a bunch of books, like I said, um, so I'll go over all of those, but we'll do the toys first. Um, so we're going to go with, we'll just start here. Let's get right into it. So we got uh, Overkill. Uh, this is the one that comes with the comic book as well. And then we got a second one. Just more the standard version without the... Well, it does say includes a full comic, which it does. I can see it. But as far as like, you know, these were the two different lines. So there's the side-by-side. -side, the one that came with the little comic there showing. And then the other ones that had more of the design, if you will. Then we have got... Uh, well, here, let me continue from that line. Bam. Violator. Pretty sure I already have Clown. They did have Clown as well, but I think I already have him. So what I need to do is go through all my stuff and find out before I double bottom. So I'll look to make sure that I have it and then go from there. But badass comic book with it. Oh, and then also they had... Oh, uh, see, I'm, I have to collect this whole set now might have to go back so they had tremor uh but he had like a two little like little tiny lines of paint uh right across his face so i was like oh, i can't do that but uh they did have spawn alley although i thought well if i get that then i gotta like open these and put them on there but i'm not gonna lie i might make a trip back for that damn spawn alley anyways all right then we've got Angela I think I well I do know that I have a Angela figure I don't think it's this box though uh, so again I'll have to dig it out and see what I've got of hers and if I end up with two of these then whatever I end up with two of them but definitely love Angela and then from the movie we got the hamburger. That's terrible. That didn't even focus. Hamburger version. So, um, a couple of these I have. I definitely want to get all these because that Spawn movie is just one of my favorites. Uh, well, you can kind of see behind me. I've, whoops, fail. I've got uh, Violator, Malboja, Medieval Spawn. Oh, here we go. Had it right here. 
So we've got hamburger and then regular. So love that. Uh, next up, we have got, uh, I've seen this one plenty of times, um, but never really got it. A lot of people always wanted way too much. So, again, another one of the versions with the comic book. This is the, not only hamburger face, but also uh, with the shoelace stitching uh, from when Batman threw his battering right at him. So, I don't know, were these variant, would you call this a variant comic, or a variant action figure? I guess it would be, so, definitely glad to have that one. Whoops, amateur hour, need to mute the laptop. Um, then we have got this beast right here. Now, I've, I've seen the big old Malboja that I have behind me before, but I hadn't seen him in the smaller packaging before. So, this was pretty cool to get. Definitely one day just going to slowly build up the whole, get the whole line. I mean, why not, right? But this one's heavy. It's already kind of... You can kind of see it. The package is kind of opening just from him. Just his heavy ass. Oh, there it is. Kind of open right there. Just from his big ass sitting in here damaging it. So, I hadn't seen him before. Um, oh, nice. You got the mouth movement being displayed. Or instructions there. Oh, come on. Focus. Damn you. Anyways, you can kind of see it. If not, whatever. Then, last but not least, have not seen one of these in person, ever. Ugh. Oh, hell yeah. Violator Monster Rig. This thing is, and there's a comic book inside too, which I'm guessing is the same as the other ones where it's just that issue one. Um, I would assume this is probably, probably been opened before. I mean, it does have some tape on there, but that could have been taped after by somebody. Um, or even the shop just to verify that there was something in there too. So, I mean, I would think it's been opened, but I'm not going to do it right now. But anyways, I, you know, I'm a firm believer in one of those. If you're into something and you find something that you've never seen before, grab it, pick it up because you don't know when you're going to see it again. I mean, unless you're going to pay some ridiculous price, then yeah, that's different. But if the price is fair um, and you've never seen it, grab it because, you know, there could be something that you'll n not never see again, but, you know, I just not worth it for me. So how to get that one? Um, you know, you could say the same of, you know, the spawn alley that I already told you I left, but that one was kind of a lot of money that I was like, eh, but See, now that I hear myself talk, I'll freaking go back and go finish the set. So maybe I will make another trip up there soon. But anyways, uh, that's all for the figures. So now we're going to get into the books. I'll run through these quickly. Um, I didn't get too much. Just a small stack here. So first up is just back issue. Uh, not back issue, but... Uh, Strange Adventures number two. Uh, I hadn't put this on my pull. I got the first one and then I put it on my pull after the second one came out. So I did miss out. So I was able to get that to finish it. So now I can continue on. Next up, uh, if you follow the Comic Book Fiend Club on Instagram, then you've seen the international uh, chapter has done a whole post about this issue right here. The Human Fly number 18. Uh, which was basically this uh, image, this pose, if you will, of carrying a dead body um, has been used many, many times, like uh, X-Men in the uh, Phoenix Saga. Um, Batman's done it when he's carrying Robin. Uh, and they just kind of attributed the, the way that the pose is done that I guess this is like one of the first and it doesn't really get credited as much. 
So I uh, was able to find two of these, uh, one of which this one right here is in really, really great condition. So was pretty happy to pick that up. And then what else? We've got uh, two issues of Quasar, Kassar, Quasar, we'll go with Quasar. Uh, number 13, this is just a cover by Jim Lee. That's really the only reason why I got it. Uh, I think I do have some of these already, but just a book that I'll pick up anytime I can. And then this one, uh, I didn't have. I know I didn't have it, So, I, but I've seen it posted on Instagram, so I made it on my wish list. And it was a book that I would never remember to go after. Um, but then I was like, like I said, picked up my phone, grabbed my wish list, went and found three of them. So again, Quasar now number 14. Uh, this is by McFarlane. So if you know me, I'm a big uh, Todd McFarlane fan. So any of his stuff, I definitely tried to get my hands on. So was able to grab three of these. Let me move the laptop so the glare is gone. Uh, was able to get three of these bad boys. Uh, one of which is the, uh, whoops, see, and then I didn't even show it. There we go. One of which being the barcode. So that was pretty cool. Definitely love this one. Uh, next up, we have got Spawn. Now we got some uh, Spawn books here. Spawn number 30. Uh, this is a, I don't know if, I, well, I guess it would be controversial, but uh, Spawn hanging cover. And in this issue, he has a huge battle with the KKK. Uh, so this is one that, to me, is, you know, you have to pick it up, Spawn fan or not. Um, it's just an iconic issue, an iconic cover. Um, and then read the issue and really, you know, like I said, see him battle the KKK and all that kind of stuff. And So that's one to definitely pick up anytime you run across it. Uh, next is... Spawn 73 and Spawn 75. Um, now, I don't believe that there's any major significance besides what I'm going to show you here in a second, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, so I'm missing number 74, but I got these because I have to give credit where credit is due. Gotham City Comics, uh, a.k.a. Mike from the West Chapter, uh, hit me up literally the same morning and was like hey do you have spawn uh do you have doubles you know of extras or whatever and do you have spawn 73 through 75 and i was like i don't know you know why so i looked and i only had an extra of 73 and then when he told me why then i was like well i'm gonna go on the hunt now so now i was able to find two more um but why get them oh, i'm gonna have to do these one by one on the back, you've got the McFarland drawing. Corn is coming. Follow the leader, August 1998. And then boom. Corn, follow the leader in stores now. So once all put together, you have a back cover connecting issue or connecting image. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can do this of uh the corn album so from follow the leader so that was just badass to me and i honestly had no idea and i don't know how many people do um i'm honestly not even sure how many back covers of a book would ever be popular but uh so now i know that spawn 73 through 75 is gonna be uh something that i will hunt everywhere i go now i will get as many copies as i can uh, because I love corn, uh, seen them a couple times live and I love McFarlane. So boom. Uh, and then last book, uh, again on the McFarlane train, walking dead 100. Now I am not a walking dead fan. Uh, I, not that I have anything against the series. I just never got into it. Um, not that I ever tried. I just mean like I never bought it, never read it, nothing. Um, I did start watching the show, probably only made it to right before um, Negan and all that kind of stuff and just never really jumped back on. So I only got this again because of McFarlane, seen people post it and I had to find it. Um, went to both A1s, they had a bunch of issue 100, 
a uh, bunch of different variants from the first store then at the second one same thing and then i was able to find one just one copy um could use some cleaning here on this part right here uh, but other than that it's in pretty nice shape and i will admit again as a non-walking dead fan um, i was very surprised when i opened it up to check it out i had no idea that this was the damn negan uh freaking exploding glenn's head with uh, lucille so i was going through it and i'm like oh no way not this issue and sure enough and i was like damn and i gotta admit um the show was brutal um for sure but i think that's you know a lot of people equate movies and shows as being you know you can fall in love with the characters and all that kind of stuff a lot easier than comics but i see now why this was such a popular series and why people love it because just reading the issue and, and seeing that scene play out in comic book form was absolutely brutal enough let alone turning that into a, you know real life quote unquote by you know making it a tv show but just in the comic alone i mean they captured the brutality of it they captured the sadness just everything i mean it was it was crazy and they did a damn good job and so props to kirkman and adler and um anyone who you know was involved in walking dead for you know really showing me and just that one little issue of like oh okay i get why this was such a big thing now so but anyways, uh, so again, another McFarlane one. So very happy with that. So anyways, um, that was it. That was the uh, birthday haul. Got a bunch of cool stuff here. Very happy with. Um, like I said, I'll make another trip up there to kind of finish the job here. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got this time. So till next time, I know I have been getting a ton of action figures. Um, like a lot went like this i just made a video for this stuff because i got it all at the same day and it's all spawned but i've been getting star wars figures um dc figures um i guess that's it i haven't really got any uh marvel ones but uh the dc that damn mcfarland dc multiverse is definitely roping me in not with all of them but a lot of them are uh and then star wars is like my new thing for the figures um so I will make a video soon showing once I have my last order come in of uh, all the different figures that I've collected recently. So um, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Um, this was a fun haul, early birthday haul. Um, by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be my birthday. So happy birthday to me. Thank you. Appreciate it uh, for anybody who cares. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. We've been pumping out all kinds of content. Like I said on my last video, um, everyone's been doing a killer job. And we're bringing you all different kinds of stuff, which I think is great because we've got a little something for everybody. And uh, don't forget the Fiend Tapes. I'm going to plug that every video, man. I'm working real hard on that and uh, me and the crew. So check out the Fiend Tapes on Spotify. Um, at the time of this video, we're on week two, volume two. Uh, just added a bunch of different songs, all different types of genres. So make sure to check that out. Give us a follow there. Like and follow here on the club page and check us out so uh that's all so stay safe everyone uh take care appreciate all the love peace out